so guys how are you doing now that we've done uh, now in the past video I taught you the meaning of um, this so in any OOP they're teaching you any day or they're mentioning OOP any day every time you say this you know what it means now we wrote these four functions let us try and use them so remember that this class started here and ended here so beneath it um, beneath the class we can try and use it so let's now create instances of this class remember that I told you that the class is basically the skeleton uh, it's a data type defined by the programmer like the production line we talked about the production line has how many segments we're looking at one two three four segments so we want to um, use it to produce a book right now all right so we can come here and define a variable again I can do physics uh, we are trying to create a physics textbook we can do um then we need to instantiate so instantiate i'm writing this out so you see um the spelling of the word you understand it's important so to instantiate a class uh we can do new we'll name we'll call the name of the class so the name of the class is books okay so we're creating a new copy of books and now let us now um create the title for a physics textbook all right so we can now do physics we now use this arrow button i know you've been seeing this arrow in a lot of programming languages finally you're gonna know what it means so we use this arrow button and then we can with this arrow button we can start accessing this um the any function that is inside this class all right that is defined with public you see that's why i put public function you understand if it is private you can't just access it just like that and uh, we'll get to that all right so that's why i used public so we can access it so now we need to set the title so we can do a set title physics set title you see so let's say uh set the title of the physics textbook let us call it introduction introduction to physics by a famous physics author called a P dot N dot okay, okay. that's his name a famous author all right so we've set the title all right now let us try and uh, set the price too we'll do the same thing for the price then we'll try and print it out we can do physics set uh, price and uh, we're gonna say the price is 30 34 okay uh, 34 dollars or whatever then we are going to try and get it let's go and open this page first of all before we try and get it so we're going to open this page and it's called index.php and it's in OOP tool so if I go to my browser and uh, load localhost slash OOP dash tools and um, since it's named index.php to open so i'm expecting a blank page exactly that's what i got a blank page all right because we've not tried to do anything now let us um uh use it we can now say physics get title title we don't need to do anything it's going to echo the title let's see we'll go to this place and refresh undefined variable fit oh sorry there's a mistake in the way i spelled it so i'm just going to copy this and this all good we'll refresh and guess what it gives us the title it says introduction to physics pn or kk you get what i'm saying now this is where it becomes interesting let us do this for um the chemistry okay first of all before we go for we'll go for the chemistry let me set the price get price get price it's gonna match the two it's gonna concatenate the two in a way that is not cool but it has printed it an introduction to physics pn or kk then 34 so let us do something cool before we end this video and which is coming to this the price we can tell it to print a br so that the price goes to the next line and we can do it 
for the title to the title should go to the next line all right so um, for the price i want to do something like this uh, the price is in dollars all right i'll do price then here i'll do exactly the same thing for the title um what i'm just doing now is to make it appear nice and cool to read title all right we're good so let's go check it check it out we we'll refresh we we'll load and boom that's where we have it you see uh, title introduction to physics price 34 dollars i think this looks cool all right so let's stop this video here in the next video i'll show you why this is is very important and interesting because someone watching this for the first time will be like why the hell are we going all these steps to um, achieve just a simple thing all right see you in the next video